Hey guys, wanted to come in on here and do this quick video. I'm back here at the hospital. Um, just got here actually. I'm still sitting in my car. Um, went home to change and wash up a little and um, get some stuff for tonight. So, got some clothes and stuff to wash my face and just, you know, the essentials to bring because I can't be going like back and forth and stuff. But we've got to check on the dogs and I got to feed them and all that stuff. So, update on hubby is that they haven't put an order in yet. For Dr. Lagos to come and see him. I've never met Dr. Lagos, so I'm not really sure. I know that my dad has a doctor named Dr. Lagos, but I'm not sure if it's the same one. Um, really don't know anything. I haven't met him. I know my husband met him last night, but I wasn't able to meet him, so um, I did leave instructions, you know, for them not to cut too deep. liquid that has been built up and stuff, but, um, yeah, there's, there's no order yet for the surgery, but, um, they did say that that was something that he mentioned, that there might be surgeries today, so, that's what's going on with him, he had fevers, um, throughout the night, it was 100.4, when he was in the ER, he was at 104, they brought it down to 102, then it came down to about 100 and 100.4. So he was like that, really feverish all night. So they had to keep putting um, cold packs underneath his um, armpits. And I took off his shirt, just left his gown, because he didn't want to take off the shirt because he was having a lot of chills. So um, I took off his shirt and he was like shaking and shaking. And I'm like, you know, you need to focus on me. Don't. And I think it's all the antibiotics that they've been giving him. They've been giving him three of them. They gave him the clendomycin, they gave him the bite, the um, vancomycin, and the zosin. So they gave him um, three. Um, they're rotating three of the antibiotics for him. So he started developing a little bit of like uh, small blisters on his hand, and I think it's because so much pressure that's building up, and it's just like. There's no opening if not with all the fluid that they're pumping in him, you know, that thing would have already bursted on its own, like like a little pimple. It was doing it before. As soon as you press it, it would just, you know. So he he said it was just like throbbing last night. And so they ended up giving him some morphine and they gave him some Tylenol. When the morphine kicked in, he kind of, you know, kind of calmed down with the pain, but he was still, you know, like shaking and stuff. So, um. Yeah, I was a little worried, but I kept my cool, and I just kept telling him, focus on me, focus on me, don't pay attention, you know, like, try to, so I turned on the light, I kind of made him as comfortable as I could, I um, saw that he already had the ice pack, so I did put the blanket over him, and put the pillow on his feet, and I just kind of, um, you know, got him as comfortable as I could, and I turned on a Christmas uh, movie, he started, he, he smirked when he saw me changing the channel, and that kind of uplifted his spirits so then he stopped focusing on that and he focused on the movie and and then he stopped shaking and then he was able to sleep some they said he couldn't have any food after 12 because they weren't sure if they were going to put him under but more than likely they, they were going to put him under and I was like why do they need to put him under and McCallan Medical when they did his foot you know they didn't put him under they just basically went in there and debrided right in front of his eyes so he saw them doing the whole thing in front of him so they want to put him down um, so yeah I wanted to go home change and get all my stuff done so that I could come and talk to the doctor to see what, exactly what he's going to do because I don't I don't want them to cut as deep as they did with you know um, with his uh, middle toe that obviously healed we cleaned it we we packed it we did everything that the doctor said and he was taking his insulins and everything was fine so they didn't amputate his toe or his foot or anything but um, this one it's just like it's just waiting to like just be touched and it just like ooze out so I hope that they hurry because it's been like a full day 
I mean, a full night and then all day yesterday and it's just liquid after liquid. And I just feel like it's ballooning up, but it did, it did look a little bit less inflamed and angry as it did last night. So I'm hoping that the antibiotics just work and just, you know, it's something small and nothing too big. But anyway, um, I asked them, you know, like if there was anything like I, I could eat here and, you know, they said, no, there's just a downstairs cafeteria and stuff. So I just decided to go home, get dressed and stuff, um, get a, get something to eat real quick and then come back to the hospital. So I packed a little bit with me, at least for today, to eat, and we'll see. We'll see how long he's here. I spoke to my kids this morning. They're doing okay. Um, spoke to my mom, talked to her. Talked to my friend Anna last night. It was good to talk to her and just kind of laughed it a little bit. I really needed her uplifting words. She really, really helped a lot so I appreciate Anna you um, answering my call yesterday and everybody who's been praying for hubby I really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much um, I asked one of the brothers from our church to come and you know maybe they can give him a blessing and so yeah hopefully today is a good day and hopefully everything goes well so I'm going to go in now and yeah, by the way, uh, my, my brother was also here last night. He's been